Hi everybody, Cassandra here with John L. Scott on Tip Tuesday. So today is June 25th and we are going to continue our series on interest rates and credit scores. I'm going to do it real fast today too. So we've talked a little about interest rates, what goes into a credit score, like what makes it up and honestly 35% is made up on payments. So today is a little bit about um, how long negative items will stay on your report. So things like late payments. Late payments are anything that's over 30 days past due. They can stay on your credit for report for up to seven years. Um, and they can also affect the purchase of a home if you want. Um, and they're allowable on a case-by-case -case basis depending upon what you have. Um, other things we have are judgments. Those will be on your credit report for seven years and also they must be satisfied before closing on a home. Another item, short sales. Um, they will be on your credit for report for up to seven years and honestly, it could take after they're off your or after they're on your credit report, sometimes between zero and four years before you can buy another home. Same with foreclosures. Foreclosures will also be on your credit score up to seven years and it could be two to seven years before you can purchase another home. Some other things that are on here um, that are negative items are Chapter 13 bankruptcies, Chapter 7 bankruptcies, and tax liens. So each one of these, I mean, obviously, Chapter 13, um, seven years from filing date, and it could be one to four years before you can purchase a home. Chapter 7 bankruptcy, 10 years from filing date, and it could be two to four years before you can buy a home. And obviously, tax liens, until the lien is paid in full, um, plus seven years. And it, some of those items may remain on your credit or on your um, credit report indefinitely. So, you know, you definitely got to make sure that you're paying your bills on time and that will definitely affect your credit score and the interest rate that you're going to get on your next mortgage. So if you got more questions, guys, please let me know. Um, next week, we're going to finish up with credit scores on one more little topic and then take any questions you guys might have. But in the meantime, Tip Tuesday today is, again, make sure you know what makes up your credit score and how things like late payments, bankruptcies, and foreclosures can affect your ability to qualify for your next mortgage. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Talk to you soon. Bye.